happy friday i am so excited it is friday and for us we have one more week of school one more week and and it's a long weekend listen 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 i'm beyond excited i'm ready i plan to just take monday and rest and go to the veterans memorial cemetery and rest but i'm gonna have a little fun in between spend some time outside with the family but i was i was wrapping up the year and thinking about everything that's happened um a topic that kept coming into my mind is uh bullying what is it how does it take shape what does it look like who does it when does it start and how old can you be to end it and i'm here to share my testimony that bullying does not end i unfortunately have been bullied by words even into this adult age now and they are powerful there's songs about it right sticks and stones may break my bones um and you try to like brush it off you try to tell your child to get up and those bullies you know they're not big enough and and but at the end of the day it's those words sit with you for a minute and so it caused me to remember what i do every year my favorite thing is to connect books with everything right and at the beginning of the year since i have been um a first grade teacher is when I set the tone for my classroom, when I set the tone for my school, I go into the school at classrooms and I read certain books so that I can tell students what kind of behavior is not going to be permissible. And I loved even as a principal going in and I'd pick one of the few books to go in and read to all the classrooms and say, this is what we are going to avoid. Um, mean Jean, the Recess Queen. If you've never read the Recess Queen, this one is one to read. Then a hooray for Rodney Rat. He couldn't say his honors. Hooray for Rodney Rat. We need to talk about the double bullying that was happening in that. The Ant Bully. This was turned into a movie. And then Stand Tall Molly Lou Mellon. Believing in yourself despite what the bullies would say. In these books, they have the common theme that a kid is being bullied but how the kid reacts is different. Molly Lou Mellon is starting a new school and Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo. So her reaction was to score a touchdown and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. In the Ant Bully, we have a kid that is being bullied as he goes home all the time and Lucas, wore funny glasses and a strange hat and the neighborhood bully was especially mean to him and so lucas's reaction was to bully the ants he learned a lesson rodney didn't hurt anyone ever and the kids in school made fun of the way he spoke all the time and then a new kid came to school and everybody was afraid of the new kid and rodney was selected that day to be called simon says leader well, all the kids were used to his speech impediment. So when Rodney said, weed the sign, the students knew what he meant, but you know, Camila Cabela started to weed the sign. And as he realized that she didn't understand what he was saying, he said, Rodney says, go west, go west. But the rest of the students knew that she meant to say, go rest. And so she said, all right, I shall go west. And then she added, so there. West she stomped, forever she was gone. And isn't that sometimes what we want to do with bullies? We just like, if can they, can they get gone? Can they be gone? And then the recess queen, nobody ever challenged this recess queen. Nobody ever told her that she was not in charge of the playground. But one girl, the new girl, Katie Sue, was too scared or was not scared enough. She just was not scared at all with Jean. And she said, hey, do you want to play with me? And guess what? Until that day, no one had ever asked Jean to play. And now Jean is best friends and recess is safe. They all end in a different way. But one thing is to be told. The bully never wins. The bully never wins. And everyone learns a lesson on how to treat other people. When we encounter bullies, we want instant solutions with them. 
But in like all of these cases, we have to show them that they're wrong. We have to learn a lesson ourselves and have teammates to kind of maybe help us make the bully disappear. Or we have to be confident in who we are and what we are bringing to the table and just deliver it anyway. As we end the year and kids are out for the summer and people are doing things together as families, I want to encourage you to stand tall and to be proud of who you are and to just give love even to those that are mean and you feel that don't deserve it because maybe, just maybe, they were never asked to join in jumping rope. Bullies are not fun to deal with. They're annoying and they're rude and they're mean. But just like these books, I believe that they will be silenced and hopefully they will learn and they will admit the error of their ways. It's important that when we look at what bullying is, it's not hitting or pushing all the time. It's in the amount of the words that you give and the statements you say. They're hurtful, they're harmful, and as educators and parents, we should have no place for them. And we should stop it when we hear it. We may not have the right words as to why, but if you hear something wrong, you say, hey, we don't talk to people like that, and let it be a lesson. I encourage you to uplift each other and to use words that will heal and not harm. And those are just some Friday facts. Enjoy your long weekend and I'll see you soon.